Welcome back to the Gallifreyan Gunner. I'm JP, and in this video, we're going to continue our build of the Maple Ridge Armory Renegade Straight Pull Rifle. In the last video, we assembled the bottom metal, and in this video, we're going to start the assembly of the upper receiver uh, by installing the barrel, the handguard, muzzle device, etc. Now, before we begin that, I just wanted to bring you up to speed on a couple of things uh, since the last video. Uh, for one, there's been some new legislation that has been uh, tabled for discussion um, that has changed some of the grandfathering rules for previously prohibited rifles. So the original plan was for me to strip my AR to of all the parts that I can use on this rifle. As it stands right now, it's a little bit more advantageous if I keep the rifle intact. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've picked up some uh, new parts to finish this rifle build. Um, as long uh, as well as some uh, spare parts I had left over from when I built my, my AR. Namely, uh, for the upper receiver, I picked up a Ballistic Advantage Performance Series M4 barrel from Saskatoon Gunworks. The reason why I picked up this particular barrel is that uh, should ARs become non-prohibited, I'm going to uh, swap this barrel over there to make my C8 inspired build a little more authentic. I also picked up from True North Arms um, a 10 inch uh, free floating handguard. Uh, it's in red, uh, but uh, once the rifle's assembled and tested, if uh, everything checks out, I'm gonna go have it Cerakoted to match the furniture that I have. I have the OG green pistol grip and the uh, butt stock. We're going to be installing an A2 style flash hider. This is the spare one I had for my last build. And to seal up the gas port on the um, rifle barrel, we have the gas journal seal that is supplied with the Maple Ridge Armory um, kit. So let's get this assembly started. But first, disclaimer. The following video is for entertainment purposes only and is not meant to be used as a replacement for the owner's manual. Proper equipment and safety precautions are to be used whenever working on any firearm. All right, just before we get started, um, just wanted to talk to you a bit about one safety feature. Um, this is a new barrel, but I'm going to be using an existing bolt. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've already checked the head spacing on this. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film it but it is very important that you check the head spacing uh, before using your rifle. Instead of using an upper vice block, I'm using the Maple Ridge Armory torque rod. And to use that, simply slide the upper receiver on. I've applied a thin layer of true blue gun grease on the barrel extension. Just slide down here. And I've applied more of the gun grease on the barrel nut. And we're going to be using a crowfoot wrench, which is uh, designed for this and it's set for 32 foot pounds. Uh, this nut is for 32 to 50 foot pounds. I'm gonna keep it to the minimum uh, because it's a free floating handguard. It's set up that I don't have to worry about timing. And that's 32 foot pounds. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the gas journal seal to uh, plug up the gas port. So this just simply slides over the end. I've just made a little mark on the barrel just so I know I can line it up properly. It comes with three bolts 
just doing the center one first. Now, alternatively, you could use a um, gas block turned backwards to, to block this as well, um, but I'm going to be using this. Next, we're going to be installing the uh, muzzle device. Once again, I'm going to be using an A2 style flash hider. We've got the crush washer, which goes pointy side, lined up with the barrel. Just going to screw this on. I did put a little bit of uh, more of that true blue gun grease on there. Okay, and we're just going to take our wrench, and what we want to do is we want to line up there are five holes here. We want to line the middle one to the top of the barrel. And finally, we're going to be installing the handguard. So we're just going to be, because it's very tight over the barrel nut, we're just going to be using a flathead screwdriver just to open it up enough to get it over there and adjust the timing on it. It's lined up. nut it's very loose in here And we're done. And there we have it. The front end of the uh, upper is complete. On the next video, we'll be finishing the rifle off, uh, assembling and installing the bolt carrier group, the uh, receiver extension, buffer and buffer spring, butt stock, etc., and doing the uh, function check before we take it to the range in the following video. Please like and subscribe my channel and make sure you click on the notification bell so you can uh, so we can let you know when the next video will be coming out. See you soon.